Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It, I'm, I'm embarrassed to say, but it has actually been more than a year since I started making the Lego Friends Girls as Sims in Sim 4, and I haven't made a living yet. So today we are going to rectify this. In fact, we're getting all of the Lego Friends Girls out. We're gonna put them together in one whole household. Oh, actually, I just thought maybe we should make them like a dorm house with them all in there. <gasps> okay, that's planned. All right, so we've got Stephanie and we've got Mia. We've done, like I said, we have made all of these girls except for Olivia. Now, if you miss seeing these videos, make sure you search them up because they look so cute in all of their outfits. Emma's got all these cat themed things. <laughs> it's just adorable. And Andrea has got an apartment up in San Machuno and she's got all of the music stuff. So... It's time for Olivia. Now, I've got this base girl, the, what we're going to use for Olivia. So, let's get started. So, we need to, first up, we need to put her name in. So, first name is going to be Olivia for, oh, goodness me, my typing is terribly bad today. Olivia Franz. And, that's not actually her last name. <laughs> that's all right. So, knowledge, computer whiz, nerd brain. No, not spellcraft. I think it might be nerd brain. Oh, yeah. All right. So book smart, everything. She, her traits are going to be, she's definitely going to be have the genius trait. And she, maybe, what else have we got? Oh, a geek. Definitely going to be a geek. <laughs> All right. So this girl currently looks nothing like Olivia. So let's bring in our little screenshot. And first up, we need to change her skin color because she has got darker skin than that. I think that one's too yellow. I think that one's too dark. I think that one's the best that we can do. Eyes are brown, but they're like a reddy brown. There's this reddy brown down here. Does that work? I think that kind of works. And her lips are currently too dark. So let's put some, let's put some lipstick on them, make them a little bit pinker. Oh, and I reckon if you looked in really close, she would have this little smattering of freckles over her nose. So she's definitely got freckles because <laughs> I said now she needs a hairstyle. We got the perfect one for her with the plait going to the side, just like her new look. So that's pretty close. That is pretty close. Now, of course, she's going to need some glasses. So let's go in and see how we can go with glasses. Those are terrible. Uh, those ones are. Oh, I wonder if we can get them in that that kind of that that bluey green color no we can't they're not too bad those glasses but they're just the wrong color so these ones are frameless they're not going to do those are really nice can we get them in the, these ones those ones come in like a metallic -y blue color which we will use occasionally i think but i'm going to see if i can find those are too big but they're the right color i'm going to see if i can find oh, those ones let's try yeah okay i would prefer the other shape no no, they're frameless. Though they used to have... Uh, no, that's just on the sides. That's a shame. Okay. All right. So these ones are not quite perfect because I'd prefer them to be a little bit larger, but they're the right color and they're cute. She looks adorable. Okay. Clothes. So pink predominantly for Olivia. She is the pink girl. She is preppy. She likes frills. So let me see what choices we have got here. There is The problem is there are so many choices that... <laughs> I just, I don't know where to start. So we use this blouse on Emma. So that's not, even though it's cute and preppy, it's not going to work for Olivia because Emma's already wearing it and uh, and they just can't, they can't be wearing the same thing. This with a blazer, I think would work very, very well for her. All of these really, really feminine, pretty looks will go very nicely for Olivia, but they, but they need to look smart as well. So she needs to look reasonably well formally dressed up kind of looking all the time but with frills <laughs> how about this one oh that's really cute okay I've added two tops so far because I haven't been able to decide oh, <laughs> that one doesn't come in an actual pink on the jacket ah oh, how to make there's nothing that's perfect so we're going to just have to because she's got a pink shirt with a yellow collar so I wonder if I can find Oh, let's see. Let's just make pink. So we got our pink choices and these are Oh, come on That's that's nice, but I think that's definitely something Olivia would wear I really like that, but I'm still looking I'm still checking out whatever <laughs> other options are problem is there are too many options too many options and then I can never make a decision I'm still scrolling Oh, uh, no, no, that doesn't work at all. That's very pretty, but it's a little bit of a dusky rose pink. And I'm going to try for, I'm going to try for a brighter pink if I can. So let me see that. 
That's good. I wish that had some yellow on it, but it's good, just going to have to do it. on her skirt. Now her skirt is actually, her skirt is yellow. So we're going to just look at yellow skirts and see what choices we have here. And I'm pretty sure, oh, that's kind of a, that's a yucky shade of yellow. That doesn't go at all. None of these. Oh, how about that? A little, you know what? I reckon the little tartan yellow skirt is just so adorable. <laughs> Let's go with that. And on her feet, she's just going to have some little slip on shoes and her shoes are actually blue. So I've just chosen the blue ones, those ones. All right. That is very much a look that I think Olivia could. Olivia would definitely rock that. Now we've gone back to the other options where I was looking at the other tops and I'm just seeing what else we might be able to have because I just don't feel as though I have tried out. Oh, that's that's pretty. I think that's something soft and sweet that she would definitely wear. Oh, I wonder what we can put on the bottom to go with. What about one of these longer flippy skirts? That one's nice. That's pretty. Actually, those colors are a bit too muted, so they're a bit too. Oh, but they're just pretty. Let's have this one as another option. This is really, really sweet and I might change out this bracelet. We might make this a more casual outfit for her and she can have maybe a stack of pink bracelets. What is that? I don't even know what that is. I can't even tell. There we go. Stack of pink bracelets goes nicely. Oh, it's a shame I can't actually give her a bag because then that would definitely look like, like we could have a bag that matches her glasses. But at the moment, I think she's looking really cute. On her wrist, we've got a watch because she would definitely always want to know the time. And this option here... Uh, actually now these are out of order so I want I don't want that one at all anymore so if I swap these around if I make now hold on if I make number one number three as well and then I delete number one good okay all right <laughs> did you follow all that we got two casual options everyday options let's go to formal wear okay we'll take we can take away a reference photo now because we just know that we're working with frills or really very girly and feminine pink yellow as our predominant colors and we've got to find, oh, oh, I really don't think she would wear that, but that's okay. Let's choose, oh, that's like a, that's like a softer version of her hair. I'm going to have to change her lip color though, because that's, oh, I don't know. I, I quite like that. I can't, maybe I should fiddle with her lips. Oh, that's too pink. <laughs> maybe I should muck about with her lips after I've actually chosen her dress so we can see how that all matches in. All right, so... Oh, I just think that's too bright though. Let's just put in a soft, one of these little soft pink ones. I think I always keep just going back to these same ones. Okay, pink dress options. Mm, no, no, another one. No, no. Oh, that one's got frills, but I don't think, I don't think so. No, no, <laughs> lots of frills. No. Oh, whoa, maybe. Mm, oh, okay, no, that's too frilly. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I think a princess dress might actually be Olivia's style. This would also be Olivia's style. This is done. Okay, so this is a very elegant choice. Let's put some pink shoes on her as well. And let's call her, let's call her formal wear done. Except maybe we could pop her hair up. Let's give her an updo and see how that works with another plait. Because this is just like she is, well, it's kind of swirled off to the side and pulled up the back. That's so elegant. Look, see, that's her every day. And then, oh, I forgot her glasses. Uh, maybe she could wear contact lenses when she's going out for her formal gear. Or maybe she could just wear these ones, these darker ones. That's really, really adorable. That is really cute. So she can have an option. She can have this. She can wear formal wear with or without her glasses. But I think she looks so, so stunning. Right. Okay, so athletic wear, this hair, let's find, let's see if we can do something, because this one looks just a little bit, sh that's too short. Uh, that's not her style. Oh, I think that's, that would, I think her hair would definitely be that wavy, but this is still too short, but it's got a plait, so I'm going with this. <laughs> just making it up as I go along. Put her glasses back on, because she needs to be able to see when she's jogging, otherwise she's going to trip over stuff. And that would not be a good start. And for her jogging outfit, we're looking at all our pink shop, our pink shoppings, our pink options here. I cannot speak anymore. I think that one would do quite nicely. Goodness, I think she's a bit skinny. I think she needs a bit more muscle. I think she needs to work out a bit. All right, so we'll get her stronger once we've got her all dressed. And we'll give her some yoga pants because I don't think that working out is going to be her 
favorite thing. I think she might be a yoga girl and get the, all that meditation and mental things going on. Okay, I think that these look pretty cute for her athletic wear. <laughs> Doing well. Sleepwear. Let's change her hair into like sleep bed hair. And I think that her hair would actually be like big curls on, yeah, this one, this one. I think that one, there is one with bigger curls, like really big curls, but I, uh, yeah, no, I think that's the right one for her. <laughs> and she definitely needs her glasses so she can read her books while she's in bed. And also so that she can see. Actually, we don't know whether she's short-sighted or long-sighted. I suppose she's probably short-sighted because she wears them all the time. Okay, pink jammies and blue checkered. Oh, they're too Larry. They're a bit bright. Those blue striped ones are good. And she's got little blue bunny slippers because all the girls have got bunny slippers. So that goes well. All right, we're doing well now. Let's, uh, let's move on to party wear. What is this? I don't know what's going on here. Let's, she's got flicky eyeshadow on already. That's okay. We could try, that hair could do, but it kind of just looks a little bit too kind of growing up for, for Olivia at the moment. That one's so pretty. That's really elegant. But I think we might, why don't we try for that straight one? Like she could be straightening her hair and with that plait down the side there, that one's pretty too. That's really lovely. It's a bit short. I think we're not going to be, we're just going to have to pretend that these are all much longer do's. This one. So this could be her going out hair when she's smoothed it all down. And once again, I'm changing her lipstick back to something just a little bit lighter, a little bit pinker. There we go. All right. So let's see what sort of party outfit she can have. That one's got frills on it. It's a little bit pastel though. And that's a little bit purple. That's a little bit flowery. <laughs> Uh, maybe something like that. I think she would wear something like that. Mm, let's keep looking. Let's see what else we've got in pink. In pinkity pink pink. Pantsuit. Always love a pantsuit. That's too straight. No, no, no. Goodness. What was that? <laughs> uh, okay. Man, no, no, no. Oh, what's at the back of this? Oh, she got a bow on the back of that. That's actually quite simple. This. No, this. No, the, the, that one. This one. Because. No. Well. Oh, uh, I'll just check the rest. I really do think that the hut. Oh, mm, mm, that one's or that one's quite pretty. It's a bit hard to choose with these shoes on. This. Oh, I was gonna go with the heart dress, but I think this one is elegant and dressed up and pretty and feminine. And we'll give her the little lacy wedges because they're just so they're lovely. But now I think we're gonna soften her hair. And we're going to give her maybe this one, the, the big side plait. And don't know what's going on with these earrings, but they don't match. So let's give her, oh, pink necklace. No, maybe, oh, maybe we'll give her the little heart and we'll yeah, put it in yellow. And we'll just give her some little simple yellow dot earrings. Just keep it nice and elegant and simple for Olivia. And she needs her glasses. So maybe for this one, just the ones that don't have any color in them, just the blue steel ones. There, that's lovely. All right, party dress done. Oh, this is good hair for swimming. <laughs> this is the big hair I was looking for before for bed hair. Or maybe, oh, what are we gonna choose for swimming hair? What would she be doing? Maybe she, maybe, yeah, maybe, uh, I don't know whether just to put it, maybe this could be like a swimming hair cause we didn't use it for her party hair and that's her hair swimming when it's all been wetted down. Or maybe we could just go back to the original. We'll just go back to the original because she looks so nice in it. And this, these swimmers with the little pattern on them are just so lovely. They're, they suit her. They actually suit her skin tone beautifully. We're going to give her two options. We're going to give her this one for when she's not in the water in pink. And she can have the other one for when she's swimming. And of course, she's does she have glasses or is she going to manage without her glasses? She's going to need... Oh, it's not even going to let me have her glasses. Yeah, she needs her glasses because she needs to be able to see. Where are your glasses? Oh, hold on. She's got a necklace first because everyone needs a necklace when they're in the pool. We'll find her glasses. There we go. Maybe the colored ones. Maybe her colored ones when she's out swimming. Oh, that's adorable. That's just adorable. Okay, hot weather outfit. Emma's actually wearing this outfit already, so she can't wear this one. It's not really her style anyway. Once again, changing her lips back to a nice soft pink. 
and putting her glasses on again so she can see. She doesn't have her glasses on all the time. Right, hot weather outfit. Something preppy and and stylish and oh, maybe she could wear this. Maybe she should wear the heart dress as. Yeah, I think she might. I think we might have to wear the heart dress. We have to use the heart dress. She was the original heart girl. That was that was what she had. All right, so I'm just checking she's actually a teen. Yeah, she is set as a teen. And we might change her voice to... Yeah, that's better. Okay, all right, because I forgot to do that before. My brain wandered off. So many things to do when we're making a new sim. Maybe we could put her hair up. Let's try one of these cute updos. That's, a, that's so cute. And she could have loafers, but you know what? I think she's just going to have little slip-on shoes. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, okay. All right, so winter gear she's already got her glasses on now which is nice but her lips have gone back to this dark dark color let's make them pinky pink pink again there that's lovely it's soft and it's fresh and pink should i think she would wear a pink quilted jacket and maybe she could wear those jeans those jeans are fine we'll give us some blue shoes maybe or yellow shoes. Love yellow shoes or blue shoes. Oh, you know what? She would be perfect for the full body for this one. Oh, that's just so cute. And she's going to need some leggings because her legs are going to be they're going to freeze off. So maybe we can have these ones with the with the greeny blue stripes. Oh no. Maybe we can just full have there we are. Full stockings. Nice. And that way we can actually match her glasses to her stockings because everyone matches their glasses to their stockings and yellow boots. Let's see what choices we've got in yellow boots. So let's get rid of the blue option. Let's go to yellow. Oh, uh, let's see. Those ones are cute, but those ones were high heels. So I don't think you can walk in high heels in the snow. I think that's crazy. <laughs> you think you're crazy if you think you can. Okay. That's really cute. Now the question is, should she be wearing a beanie? Uh, <laughs> she looks so cute with a beanie. What colors choices have we got? I think I've given all of the Lego Friends girls a beanie so far. I can't really remember. Pink beanie would be okay. Yellow's a bit bright. Uh, maybe, maybe pink. Maybe it's just a bit too much with her glasses. So maybe we could give her, oh, maybe we'll just give her two options, like one with beanie and one without. So there we go. Without and with. Perfect. All right. So Olivia has got... Her every day, her formal, she's got her sporty wear, she's got her sleep wear, <laughs> she's got party, swim wear, hot weather, and cold weather. That's, she's ready. All of the girls are ready. Now, I suppose all that's left for us to do is to, uh, well, we're going to need to, I really do think we need to make a house where they can all live together and have a themed room for all of them. Let's see what. I want a different snapshot for that. Let's see one that might show their personalities a bit better. Not that one. Maybe that one. <laughs> all right. So maybe I need to get on to making a house where they can all live together and see how they go with that. <laughs> Actually, I just thought of something. The new university pack is going to be released soon. I could make them a sorority house and they could all live together <gasps> and go to university. All right. Make sure you let me know in the comments if you want to see that happen. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out some of my other videos and I'll be back with a new one very, very soon. So... Until then, well, I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.